now that we've seen APRS up and running with Zaster, uh, you may decide that you want to use a different APRS client. And while there aren't a large pool of really nice clients for Linux, and while Zaster has all sorts of functionality, it's it looks a bit dated. I think it uses the Motif widget set, but it does what it's supposed to do, but that's fine. There is, however, a APRS client that is much more updated, much more pleasing to the eye, and it's called Yak, yet another APRS client, which seems funny because it's the only two that I know of with a, a, a GUI uh, worth using. And you can, you can find it at this URL right here. Uh, this instruction assumes that you've already set up Direwolf, as I've shown in my Direwolf from beginning to APRS video. I point out that Yak is actually written in Java, so we're going to be handling this a little bit differently. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be downloading uh, Yak zip file to uh, uh, to our uh, computer. So we'll do that first now. Once this file is done downloading, it's 16 megs, then we'll continue on. So we're going to open up our file browser window, and we're going to go to our home directory, which we're in. We're going to create a new folder called yak. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to downloads, and we're going to cut that file, go over to yak, we're going to paste that file and then we're going to open up the archive manager and we're going to say extract and we're going to extract it in the yak directory we'll quit out of that we can remove that zip file now and now we have the files that we need for yak now we could uh, close this file browser and do everything from the command line. Before we're able to run this, we actually need Java on our system, and uh, Linux does not come with uh, Ubuntu does not come with Java st installed by default. But we can easily install OpenJDK with a sudo apt-get install OpenJDK. We're right, we have version 8 available to us, right? Java runtime environment. Right? So we're going to install that now. And then we're going to come back as soon as the installation is finished. So now we're going to run the program. Java's installed. Uh, we're actually uh, are running a jar file so we can use this convention. We could make a... Uh, a very small one-line script file so we could not have to type all that in but right now let's just focus on running it so it loads up for the first time and it's going to ask us if we would like help configuring yak sure why not so we say yes they asked us our call sign i'm going to put in my call sign right and for our testing here we've called this dash five just for this computer. And I hit next and we're going to be listed as a, a Digipeter iGate, right? We are fixed. We're not weather, we're not mobile. And we're going to pick a nice little logo for our station. We use a um, old Apple logo here. We're not going to adjust the wide limit or the region code. I'm just going to hit next again. And here I come again to my um, my coordinates. And I actually don't know them off the top of my head. I actually have to look them up, right? So I'm going to type in my coordinates. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the other coordinate is uh, 81. This is 41.045. We do not have GPS. Automatically download maps. Sounds good. And we click next. So 
We're going to add a port. I believe we're running uh, without the P, so we'll just add the AGWPE port, right? Very much like we did last time on 8000. We'll leave all the default settings for now. We'll hit next. And I see the port is enabled. We'll hit next. We'll enable the station beacon and the free text will be yak demonstration with dire wolf on Ubuntu 15.04. Hit finish. Let's open this up. It's got a much nicer look to it than uh, uh, Zaster. You'll immediately see that. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. And as you can see, we're already uh, ramping up some traffic. So let's see some of the things that we can do with this. Let's give it a, f a few minutes to, to see what it picks up. So I want to run through a couple things that I missed. Uh, and mistakes that I made. Little small ones, but uh, just so you know. Uh, apparently I've been sending Tire Wolf <laughs> as the demonstration, but that's okay because during the configuration I forgot to uh, enable transmit on my port. Right? So if I edit this one right here, uh, be sure that transmit is enabled. It's not enabled by default. So just going through, the, I just want to point those out. Going through right quick, we have general parameters. Uh, these are all, um, it, there's no mystery to them. It tells you exactly what, what you need to do. Uh, beacon destination, I, I left it as default. Uh, the beacon rate, the decay ratio, uh, what it does with refer to gating. Uh, with regard to gating, I don't need smart beaconing. My station doesn't move. Haven't looked at this mini web server stuff, but it's probably worth investigating, but I'll just I'll just leave that as it is. Uh, some digipeating settings, these are all default. Uh, the ports, like we said, I'm, we're using the AGWPE. As I showed you, make sure that transmit is enabled or you won't really be doing anything. Uh, as far as RF goes, it may be digipeating into the internet, you know, what it receives, but it's definitely not sending anything out. Uh, went from the Apple back to the X. I know there's a, a lot of use for GPS stuff if you have a GPS. I don't have GPS set up on, on this home station, so I don't use any external GPS stuff. I did add my height, gain, and power, what have you. A little status message I threw up on there. And finally, just some pref preferences about the system itself, right? So, we could go to view and look at the raw packets that are going out. And we can see I did a, a test while trying to figure out why it wasn't transmitting. And then once I fixed that transmit issue, you know, there they went. But this is kind of cool because I could, I, I like this interface because I, I could chat with a station. I could, I could actually connect with a PBBS. Uh, I could send email, uh, believe it or not, uh, through WinLink. I had tested this on myself with uh, my own email address. And it takes a while. But, but the email actually will get through. There will be a station that will actually post that email to the email address. Uh, and obviously there's a direct chat. You just simply choose your station. It doesn't assume that every station is available to chat. I just wanted to touch on this a little. I mean, this isn't really a demonstration of APRS. It's just a demonstration of getting Yak to work with Direwolf. And as we can see, it does. Uh, last point to touch on. Obviously, it wouldn't be complete if I didn't mention that if you're using the dash P mode and you weren't using AGWPE, it would in fact be possible to go with serial TNC, um, type in the port, which is which is going to be uh, temp uh, uh, kiss TNC. I'm not actually going to do it. And then there's a way to test the port. You set the port rate for 19.2. Uh, add your call sign, and then once again, make sure transmit would be enabled, right? I'm not going to add that to this, but just to show you how. So this would basically be it. And then hit save, and then then that port would be up. So this is Yak. I, I kind of like it. I, I think I like it more than Zaster, but 
I, I have a sneaking suspicion that it doesn't have uh, all the functionality of Zaster. I may be entirely wrong, but I can tell you that if you look at the date here, I mean, this latest release was 20 April 2016. So this is an ongoing, currently developed product. I mean, this is four days old. So Yak is definitely one I'm going to be following with regard to APRS. I don't really do APRS. Uh, as, as you probably know, the APRS was used as a demonstration to show that we could take a, a Linux computer and get it up and running on, on Direwolf without a TNC and be able to do all this stuff. So that's, that's what I wanted to, uh, to illustrate here. And that's it. Yeah, I believe that's it. So you could see the activity was pretty busy. Uh, we're definitely hitting stuff. Thanks for watching.